There are tens of thousands of flights every day. It is inevitable that some accidents will happen. But fortunately, these people narrowly avoided disaster. This is followed by 15 aircraft near misses. Number 15. US versus Russian warplanes. January 2018. The US Navy released this video of a near miss with a Russian fighter jet. This was recorded by an EP-3 Ares II aircraft. It was on a mission over the Black Sea. A Su-27 jet flew over its flight path. According to Navy officials, the Russian plane came within five feet of them. This was interpreted as an aggressive and unsafe interaction. They ultimately prevailed, insisting that the American plane had not violated Russian airspace. This is just the latest in a series of Russian military activities that violate international conventions. If one of the pilots made a wrong move, it was a sure recipe for disaster. According to Russian officials, shortly after, the Su-27 returned to its base. As soon as the Navy jet veers away from the border, the Russians insist they are defending their territory. But even that, was too close. Number 14. Airports in Paraguay. Airport staff are used to operating near large aircraft. But they are usually safe. Because they thought there was no risk of being hit by a plane that was landing. However, a team of runway maintenance workers found out in a video released in 2019. This is not always the case. A few years ago, these engineers were repairing a section of the tarmac at Paraguay's International Airport. When they suddenly realized that the runway was not closed, they found that a passenger plane had landed. They quickly climbed on all the equipment and tried to get out of the path of the plane that was about to land. Fortunately, the quick-thinking pilot did not land until he had been checked by workers. But it definitely missed the landing gear and almost touched the roof of their car. It was only a few inches lower, and could have been a much worse accident. Number 13. San Francisco International Airport. In July 2017, an Air Canada plane lands at San Francisco International Airport. But because the flight crew was unsure of the descent runway, it was not clear where it was intended to land. The plane almost hit another plane before it could take off again. Video of the incident released shows. It nearly collided with the plane on the ground. Only because the other pilots turned on their lights. And the plane was able to see them. And take evasive action. According to the National Transportation Safety Board. More than 1000 people are at risk of being injured or killed in a crash. The investigation found several errors that led to the accident. The Air Canada pilot was so tired that he mistook the runway for landing. Only one person worked in air traffic control at the time. This means that there are not enough staff to observe what is happening. A number of measures have now been taken, including specific training for pilots about landing at airports, to ensure that such an incident does not happen again. Because if it happens next time, people might not be so lucky. Number 12. The plane narrowly missed the skydiver. Skydiving is a popular recreational activity all over the world. Although everyone knows the major risks they face when their lives are in the hands of a parachute. But when something happens, no one can be prepared. In 2014, a skydiving instructor and a guest experienced tandem skydiving. As he has done hundreds of times before. But this time, things are different. For some reason, after leaving the plane, the pilot decided to do a 180 degree descent. It can be seen very close to the person flying in free fall. The distance between them is very small. It can be seen that the halter of the parachute is clipped to the wing. But luckily, they didn't collide. When the plane passed by, it's a miracle. To this day, 
The instructor doesn't know why the pilot made that move. But. Thank God they escaped. He would never get on a plane with him again. Number 11. Tokoloa Airport. Tokoloa Airport serves the town of Tokoloa on the North Island of New Zealand. It is often used at idle points for commercial and private flights. In 2017, a new pilot learned the hard way here. He learned how important it was to make sure the runway was clear. Because he nearly hit the runway of another light aircraft. He has already made one attempt to land. But after failing to line up properly, he had to fly again. Trying again. Presumably concentrating on a successful landing next time. He forgot to keep an eye on other aircraft in the area. And stopped just in time. To avoid a crash. The other pilot did not find a suitable opportunity. He could only continue on his course. But it proved to be a lucky break. Because if he also tried to shut down. They would just run straight into each other. Number 10. How low can you fly? Air shows are held all over the world. It gives viewers a chance to see cutting-edge, unusual and historic aerial displays. But occasionally pilots get caught up in the excitement of the show, and forget the importance of ensuring public safety. One of the most dangerous maneuvers a fighter can do is to fly at very low altitudes. During an air show in Argentina, a pilot flies his IA-63 Pamper Advanced Flyer dangerously close to the tarmac and the crowd. At 300 knots. That's about 345 miles per hour. He zoomed past just a few feet above the ground. The gravity is 5.3 G. The pilot may be an instructor. He clearly had enough skill to steer the plane. Away from people and other obstacles. But this was reckless flying. In other incidents. Similar circumstances have resulted in the dismissal of all those involved. In this case. He seems to have got away with it. Does that make sense? Number 9. Near miss at 35,000 feet. When you travel by plane. Looking out the window is often a calmer experience. You can see farther than ever before. Or you might see soft clouds all over the sky. But you wouldn't expect to see another plane coming very close to yours. In 2019. A passenger on a flight between Dublin and Lisbon. Found himself in this terrifying situation. He saw the other plane and its jet stream. And immediately reached for his phone to record. Of course. It's hard to determine the distance here. But the planes are certainly flying too close. For comfort. Fortunately. The plane passed without incident. When the authorities investigated. They found that no further action was needed. Number 8. Helicopters and drones. Drones can fly high to capture images and video. Which was not possible before. With advances in technology. It is now easier than ever to buy them. There are many restrictions on the use of drones. Including regulations on when and where they can be operated. This may seem like too drastic a measure. However. When you watch videos of drones passing airplanes. You quickly realize that these rules are in place for the right reasons. If there is an accident. It may endanger many people's lives. The footage was captured by a drone flying off the coast of Hollywood. To capture spectacular panoramic images. When it lifted off. There didn't seem to be any danger nearby. But suddenly a helicopter appeared. And flew directly to the drone. It flew a few feet away from it. And nearly collided. The incident was reported to the FAA which confirmed that the drone operator was at fault. But this time, they took no further action, insisting that drone owners need to familiarize themselves with the rules. Number 7. When the plane meets the SUV. Most airports used for flying are completely isolated from other areas. It is only used for landing and taking off. 
but small facilities used by fixed-wing aircraft are often used by others. Some even have roads that cross the flight path. Of course, this is perfectly fine as long as the pilot and driver are aware of the situation and follow instructions to avoid accidents. However, in 2012, an incident at a Texas airport did not go quite as planned. A novice pilot was about to land. At the same time, an SUV driver later claimed not to be aware that they were going through the airport. He ran into the path of the plane. There was no time to react. And the landing gear collided with the top of the aircraft. Fortunately, the pilot survived. There were only minor injuries. The occupants of the car were furious at the accident. The airport manager pointed out stop signs on the road to prevent this sort of thing. And put the blame squarely on the driver. Number 6. Be careful of that mountain. There are many things pilots need to be aware of. When flying at low altitudes. While this is part of a daily routine. Sometimes taking their eyes off the front line for just a moment can result in a terrifying close call. This is a stark reminder. That they must remain vigilant. This video shows what happened in Vancouver, British Columbia, in 2019. When an RJ-85 air tanker helped put out a raging fire. It flew as close to the ground as possible before releasing red flame retardant to limit the spread of the fire. However. The pilot was too focused on hitting the target. So much so that he ignored the ridge ahead. There was only a split second to pull the plane out of the way in time. The dust raised around the wingtips shows how close this is. After the incident, a pilot admitted that he was so concerned about putting out the fire that he flew lower than planned without realizing it. He filed a report and received additional training to prevent this from happening again. But many professionals say it's just one of the unusual dangers they face. Especially when trying to perform precise tasks like this. Number 5. El Prat Airport in Barcelona. In 2014. The Boeing 767 with 260 passengers on board is about to enter Barcelona's Prat Airport. When an Aerolineas Argentina's Airbus A340 suddenly began taunting on the runway. Fortunately. It was a fine day. The 767 pilot saw what was happening and aborted the landing in time to avoid a collision. A few minutes later, the plane was able to circle and land safely. Had this not been done, the situation could have been very different. Afterwards, the 767 pilot was interviewed afterwards and said there had been a series of errors. The captain of the Airbus apparently ignored instructions to wait at the edge of the runway. At the critical moment. When it became clear to me that Airbus was not complying with air traffic control orders. Communications went silent. Presumably because the operator panicked. And didn't know what to do. The 767 pilot was forced to take matters into his own hands. And return to altitude to avoid a disaster. It was only because of his quick response that the tragedy was averted. That is why the Argentinian pilot ignored instructions. Although he acknowledged that the instruction had never been disclosed. It simply showed that pilots had to be vigilant. Because even if you know what to do on command. But they also have to learn to improvise. Number 4. Princess St. Martin Juliana International Airport. Near airports around the world. Airplane enthusiasts can be found looking for the best spots to observe planes landing and taking off. But if you want to get up close and personal with a plane, there's no place like Princess St. Martin Juliana International Airport in the Caribbean. Due to the limited flat land available for the runway. The runway was built near the sea. But surprisingly, just outside the airport, at the end of the runway, is a public beach. It is often filled with tourists looking for a chance to madly approach the plane. 
it has become a very popular attraction to watch airplanes. Beach bars and venues even have monitors showing airport arrivals. So they know when the next plane will arrive. But when the plane is flying less than 100 feet above the sand, it can become quite dangerous. The jet wind churn up the sand and can knock people down. Despite warnings to stay away from the flight path, there are always people at risk. All right, this may seem safe and fun, but there are serious risks. Many people have died over the years after getting too close to the plane's landing path. Still, this beach is definitely the place to go for. One of the world's most unusual experiences. Number 3. Be careful with your head. Tom Richard is a stunt pilot. He performs stunts for audiences all over the world. But in 2016, his career was almost cut short because there was a terrible near miss at an airport in Nevada. He was competing in the Formula Gold race. It's an event in Reno. National Flying Championship. But just as he was about to take off, his engine began to sputter. He had to turn off the engine. He signaled to the campaign marshal that there was a problem. But the three planes behind him failed to receive the message. They continued along the runway. The middle plane just missed the runway in time, but its wings still met Richard and brushed his head in a terrible way. The propeller cut three chunks from the plane's right wing. If that plane had only been a few inches in the other direction, it could have been a fatal event. Fortunately, for all involved, this is not the case. Richard took off again a few days later even though the plane he was on was a total write-off. Number 2. C-17 fly over a city. Every year, the city of Brisbane and Australia celebrate an event called River Fire. There are massive fireworks displays and a range of other displays throughout the day. 2018. The Royal Australian Air Force conducted a flight with a Boeing C-17 aircraft. But what happened next terrified the city and was widely condemned as needlessly stupid and dangerous. The large plane was very close to the ground and flew towards the skyscrapers of the central business district. Witnesses believed it was about to crash into them, but it flew through the crowd perfectly. There's no doubt that it's a wonderful stunt. It takes a lot of planning to get it done. But if the pilot made a mistake, it would undoubtedly be disastrous. The RAF insisted that it was completely safe and had remedies in place if one of the pilots made a mistake. And the pilots have been trained several times in flight simulators. However, many residents remain unconvinced. The Air Force is unlikely to try such a thing again anytime soon. Number 1. A special flyby of the space shuttle. Low altitude flights are performed all over the world. It is used to celebrate special events, showcase new aircraft designs, or entertain the public at air shows. But in 2012, residents of Los Angeles witnessed one of the most unusual flybys in history. The shuttle was transported to the California Science Center as an exhibit. The transport is by air rather than by road. It is placed above a 747 aircraft. But before landing at the airport, the aerial tour passes all of the city's major landmarks, such as the Golden Gate Bridge, the Hollywood sign in Los Angeles. Before the final landing, it was seen passing low over the airport. Those lucky enough to see it have a once-in-a-lifetime chance to witness such an event. It reminds everyone how inspiring the space program is.